I'm trying to work some things out here, y'all. Mind your business. Oh, I need a whole new um. Hold up on my phone. I know I don't I have to hold this thing up by myself. Oh, okay. I'm working it out, y'all. Mind your business. Thank you. Anyway, green rising. And for those who are offended by that saying, great day to you. So I don't like to say good morning because we're not morning okay anywho great day to everyone who sees this video whether it is live or later great day to you prosperous day to you in the lord hallelujah let me read something to you let me see i need some light i don't know about some that y'all see inside my car but anyway all right now <clears throat> Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Now, I'm going to need y'all to stop treating God like he a side chick. You know, only giving him some. No, you got to give him all. Trust him with everything. Okay, with all of your heart, allow him to direct your path when you need to go somewhere, what you need to do. L allow him to give you instructions. God knows everything. He knows things before you even know. So why wouldn't you trust him with all of your heart? Why wouldn't you go to him for instructions? So stop treating him like he's a side chick. All right. But anyway. Y'all know what we're about to do. We're about to pray. But before we pray, a few announcements. I have revised my 31 Prayers with Nuggets book. And also, you can check out my website, which is listed on this page. I have four books that are up there. And I'm also offering additional services in addition to my life coach. Um, so check out my website www.lifecoachworksllc.com okay um and see the services that i'm offering and also i am putting together a new prayer team so if you're interested in being a part of my prayer ministry in the gap prayer and resource ministry i'm gonna need you to go to that page and like it Okay, join it, whatever. If you would like to be a part of the prayer team, so when people call in and need prayer uh, and anything like that, um, feel free to contact me. Uh, an assessment is necessary because I can't just put anybody on the prayer team. And training is also available. I want to make sure you know how to pray. Amen. So, um, and if you have a prayer, of course, submit it. So, this is my regular Facebook page, but if you go over to In the Gap Prayer, in resource ministry, you should see the cover of my book as the profile pic. Then you know you're on the right page. Anyway, let's pray because uh, we need to pray before we uh, head on out. Amen. Need to pray every day. Let's pray. God, we thank you today. We bless you for another day. We thank you, God, for life, health, and strength, food, clothes, and shelter, and all the necessities of life. We thank you, God, for another day to forgive and to be forgiven. We forgive those who have harmed us in any way. And we pray, God, that those whom we have harmed in any way will forgive us. And we pray, God, that you heal them as well as heal us of any trauma. Anything that we have experienced from the time we was in our mama's womb to this day and going forward, we just pray, God, that you save heal and deliver us for those things that we may walk in your freedom i thank you god we are no longer slaves as your word says but we are free for whom the sun sets free is free indeed and we thank you god we pray god that everything we eat everything we drink everything we use including the air that we breathe the clothes that we wear and anything that we come in contact with aware or unaware we pray god that it is blessed whatever has been done to those things to cause us any harm, to kill, sell, or destroy, those things shall not work. They will not come to pass. They shall not prosper against us. We thank you, whatever plan, plot, scheme, strategy, story, lie, setup, spell, curse, 
ungodly incantation, negative words spoken to against or about us or against all who and all that concerns us. Those things are canceled. They will not come to pass. They will not prosper. They will not succeed against us. And whatever man of evil anyone desires for us shall come upon them instead. Thank you for making us the head and not the tail, the lender, not the borrower, above and not beneath. Thank you for blessing us to be a blessing. We pray that you bless those who bless us, God. And we pray, God, that those who try to curse us, they will receive the curse themselves instead. We thank you. No evil shall come now dwelling. None shall overtake us. We thank you, God, for customers, for clients, for our businesses prospering, the places where we work prosper. We pray, God, that you will bless our places of prayer our places of worship, our places of residence, our means of transportation, jobs, finances, schools, children's schools, daycare, and all who and all that concerns us. We pray, God, for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding, the boldness, and the courage to do what you want us to do, to make the right decision, to make the right choices. We pray, God, that for those who don't know how, those who struggle because of trust issues or whatever the issue may be, those who have difficulty trusting you with all their heart. We're praying, God, that you teach us all to touch you, to trust, to trust you with all our hearts, to lean not into our own understanding, all what always acknowledge you that you will direct our path. We pray, God, and we thank you for traveling mercies. Thank you for the angels you give charge over. We thank you, God, for your angels of war who come into our lives and drive out the angels of darkness and the agents of darkness in our lives, where we are, where we go. We bind up all demonic spirits and all demonic activity. We do not give them permission to operate in our lives and the lives of our lovers or even in our presence. We thank you, God, and we loose everything that you have given to us that pertains to life and godliness and we call those things unto us now. We thank you. Our enemies will become confused and war against each other instead of against us. They will reveal themselves and each other even without knowing it, God. And we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for working all things together for good for us because we love you and we're called according to your purpose. We thank you because the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want for anything. We shall not lack anything. We need not to fight for you will fight for us. We thank you, God, that the battle does not belong to us. It belongs to the Lord. Help us to remember that, God. We pray that you put a God on our mouths and our hearts that we would not speak, Father, when we should not speak. And we pray that you put a boldness on our tongue that we will speak when you will have us to speak. We pray against all false prophecies. We pray against, Father, anything that is not like you. And we just bless you today, God. We declare and decree and give you thanks that all of our bills is paid on the before time and we owe no one anything except the love that you give us to give to them and we thank you God and those who owe us we pray God that you will bless them to pay us and that they will and we thank you God that all that has been lost missing, stolen or borrowed from us from those of in our bloodline, even from our ancestors, those things are recovered, restored, and they are returned to us. We thank you the works of the wicked are destroyed. We pray, Father, for godly leadership in places of power, authority, influence, and all types of leadership. We pray, God, that you remove the wicked from those places, Lord God. And whatever they have done, we pray, God, that you undo it. And we bless you, God. And God, we continue to pray and ask that you have mercy on those falsely accused, wrongfully imprisoned, those lost and missing, those, God, who are... Um, experiencing God the grief of losing their loved ones experience the grief of losing their livelihoods father we pray God that you will comfort them supernaturally that you will strengthen them that you will rebuild them that you will restore them that you will restore to them the joy of your salvation that you will give them a peace that surpasses our understanding and joy everlasting we're praying God that the loss and the missing will be discovered they will be found and they will be returned to their loved ones we're praying God for those who are in places of war and famine, those who hunger and thirst, those who are sick and shut in, those who are in need, Father God, of shelter, that you will provide for them, Lord God. We're praying for the homeless, God, to, that you will bless them today, Lord God. Show them where they have to go to get the resources, send people to them to help them, God, to no longer be, be homeless, God. And we thank you, Lord. We're praying for those who are in doubt of who you are, that you will manifest yourself before them and show them that they will have no doubt that you are God, and that you are God alone, that you are a true and living God and we thank you God we pray that you will take the blinders cause the scales to fall off the eyes of those who have been blind by the enemy and we pray God that you will break the spell on your people God who turn on each other God 
We'll see each other as enemies, that we will always recognize who the true enemy is, God. And we just thank you today, God. We thank you, God, for multiple streams of income. We thank you for prospering our business. We declare decree, and we give you thanks, God, that we have more customers, we have more clients, that we will receive exceedingly, abundantly, above, above all we can ever imagine, even think to ask. And we bless you, God, today. And, Lord, we invite the sword of your spirit to sever ungodly soul ties, ungodly promises, ungodly vows, ungodly contracts, and our lives and throughout our bloodline and we thank you god for choosing us for using us for never losing us and we invite your correction god we could spend a whole lot of time praying and asking you for things but lord we need your correction we need your instruction we need your direction show us what you want us to do god and we just thank you and we pray, God, that the plans that you have for us, the plans that you have for our family, friends and loved ones, both near and far, old and new, the plans that you have for our children, those will be the plans that will be fulfilled. And we thank you. We praise you. We bless you, God. We magnify you. We glorify you, God. We lift your name up on high, God. And we thank you that this is the day that you have made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, people of God. For praying with me this morning, I pray that you have a blessed and powerful day in the Lord. I pray that you walk in God's supernatural power, that everything you touch, it prospers. Wherever your feet touch, it becomes holy, and that all things in your life will work together for the good for you and to give God glory. I pray that whenever the enemy shows up, wherever he tried to show up, that you will instantly remember because the spirit of God, the spirit of truth who guides us into all truth will remind you of who you are and that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Have a blessed and wonderful day and know this. I love you! And God loves you best. <laughs> uh, don't forget to subscribe to my pages. Um, Okay, like them. Amen. And if you didn't get any of my books, get those. Okay. And um, if you want to bless me here, yeah, you know, send me some stories. Anyway, 